Let me catch the Facebook people up. Hello, good morning, or evening, depending on where you are. I should be asleep, but I'm not asleep. It appears I've woken up, so I will be working on my legacy. Anyways, we're on mantra number 29. This is the sigil for mantra number 29. I love this. I want these tattooed on my body or my soul, I swear. But these are so amazing. Mathematically created, precise, with no human flaw. All these sigils are made mathematically. Not that I'm a genius or nothing. It was the computer was used to generate them. But it did such a good job. And it was like at the right moment too when they were constructed. It gave like a whole new meaning to the mantras. And also made using them even more powerful. Like really more powerful. Mantra 29 is. I unconditionally surrender to the graceful, divine, and blissful experience, the creator, love, and intelligence of all universes has ordained and established for me. I surrender to the prosperous, abundant blessings being accessed and manifested before me instantaneously in all time, space, and beyond. So you know how we begin this. Okay, we usually begin with breathing exercises and dropping into the heart because we've been taught that we're our minds, but we are not our minds. Our minds are like a bank, a bank of memories, a bank of information. It is not who we are, but our hearts, that's who we are. And our heart is infinite love. It is sustained by infinite love until our time here is done. And then it stops. And that sounds so morbid. And the way I'm saying it too, I shouldn't be saying it like that. Because I feel that God's plan for us is everlasting love and peace and it shouldn't stop. But I mean, life is mysterious. Sometimes we have other places to go, other places, you know, to see and help in. I'm trying to share this to my page real quick, don't mind me. Well, my, um, not my page, my personal page because I do this mostly for my personal people because we're all in this together. Again. school cup I don't know I'm so gothy too gothy for my own good it does sometimes bite me in the ass a little bit just give me a moment to share this video to the proper place because we don't know where this video will end up but it could help someone out there I don't know how it will help them but if it helps me, it helps someone. It'll help someone. So once again, I'm kind of in a low vibration because it's the end of the day. I, I worked all day. So I kind of get tired. 
and a little bit drained. So I do this before bed or before I go back to doing what I was doing to recharge, to synchronize and harmonize myself, to harmonize my heart, my vibration, just my well-being. As I've said in the other videos that this is so hard to do two things at once, forgive me. As I said in the other videos, we do this with the intention to somewhat clear our bank reservoir, our mind, because like I said at the beginning of this video, we think we're our minds, but we're not our minds. We're only one thing, we are love. All beings in this universe are love. Everything is love. And we are not our minds, we are our hearts, we are our soul, we are our spirit, and that thing is love. That thing is the life force of the universe. So I think enough people have joined. There are people on my on my YouTube. Hello. Now we be, I will begin. So let us close our eyes and let us take a deep breath. Be sure that when you breathe, you are expanding your belly because that's how you know you're breathing. We are not huffing and puffing. We are taking the time to not huff and puff in life right now. We are taking the time to synchronize ourselves. We are taking the time to harmonize ourselves. We are taking the time to connect to our true being, the original being, the most highest being out there, the creator of all universes, the creator of all souls. We are tuning in and synchronizing into that right here and right now. Mantra number 29 is, I unconditionally surrender to the graceful, divine, and blissful experience. The creator, love, and intelligence of all universes has ordained and established for me. I surrender to the prosperous, abundant blessings being accessed and manifested before me instantaneously in all time, space, and beyond. Let us take a deep breath. I unconditionally surrender to the graceful, divine, and blissful experience. If I shine this on you, I shine this on me too. It affects me, it affects you. I'm like, I'm losing focus. It's very normal. I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. But watch me. Watch me do this. Watch me synchronize myself. I can do it, you can do it too, and we'll do it together. I unconditionally surrender to the graceful, divine, and blissful experience, the creator, love, and intelligence of all universes has ordained and established for me, I surrender to the prosperous, abundant blessings being accessed and manifested before me instantaneously in all time, space, and beyond. I unconditionally surrender to the graceful, divine, and blissful experience, the creator, love, and intelligence of all universes has ordained 
and established for me. I surrender to the prosperous, abundant blessings being accessed and manifested before me instantaneously in all time, space, and beyond. I unconditionally surrender to the graceful, divine, and blissful experience. The Creator, Love, and Intelligence of all universes has ordained and established for me. I surrender to the prosperous, abundant blessings being accessed and manifested before me instantaneously in all time, space, and beyond. I unconditionally surrender to the graceful, divine, and blissful experience, the creator, love, and intelligence of all universes. Oh, your mind is working. <sighs> Forgive me. But it's working. Mm -hmm has ordained and established for me. I surrender to the prosperous abundance and blessings being accessed and manifested before me instantaneously in all time, space, reality. I unconditionally surrender to the graceful, divine, and blissful experience, the creator, love, and intelligence of all universes has ordained and established for me. I surrender to the prosperous, abundant, blessings manifested before me instantaneously in all time, space, and beyond. I just had to do that. I unconditionally surrender to the graceful, divine, and blissful experience the Creator love and intelligence of all universes has ordained and established for me. I surrender to the prosperous, abundant blessings being accessed and manifested before me instantaneously in all time, space, and beyond in all time, space, and beyond in all time, space, and beyond I surrender to the prosperous, abundant blessings being accessed and manifested before me instantaneously in all time, space, and beyond See, because our souls are already rich in heaven. In heaven, you have unlimited life force energy. In heaven, you have unlimited creativity. You have unlimited resources and space. There is so much gold out there. It can make the whole planet rich forever. Like, not for maybe, yeah, forever. For as long as it exists, okay? There are so many riches out in the universe. It's an abundant universe it don't matter where it's at outside of time space and beyond in the astral realms in the higher dimensions you know everything eventually turns into light in the most highest dimensions it turns into light and sound similar to nebulas and you know stars seem 
Did you know that? Stars sing, black holes sing, clouds of gas sings, even ice sings. Like during the winter, ice can sing. Everything is singing, everything is sound, everything is light. And everything is those things within the dark, because there's space. But yet in space, stars are singing. Gas balls are singing. Gas clouds are singing. Metals are singing. The rings of Saturn are singing. Rings of Neptune are singing. The Earth even rings too. The sun rings also. Everything is singing. You know, when people have near-death experiences and they hear the choirs of heaven and another dimension, they're not just celestial objects, okay? I guess we can call them angels. Maybe planets are angels, I don't know. Maybe stars are angels, I don't know. But if you listen closely sometimes during the day, you can hear the earth ring. And you can hear the stars ring. Can hear the seasons ring. You ever heard the wind howl? You ever heard the wind whistle? Everything is singing, everything is light, it's its true form. So I uncondi I unconditionally surrender to the graceful divine and blissful experience. The creator, love, and intelligence of all universes. Because God is the intelligence and love of all universes, okay? Some people will like to make us think that God is just stuck to one universe, but that's not true. God is the creator of all universes, all dimensions, all life, all love, sustains all. It's the original being, the original one, the one love. So he is not just present in heaven or in the upper realms, in all dimensions, all places. There is God, there is love, there is our heart. God is our heart. That's why I say, Get out of your mind, get out of your head, come back to your heart, because God is our heart, and our heart is full, infinite love. So we unconditionally surrender to that graceful, divine, blissful experience. The creator, love and intelligence of all universes, has ordained and established for us. We surrender to the prosperous, abundant blessings being accessed and manifested before us instantaneously in all time, space, and beyond. And this is possible because God's plan for us is everlasting love, everlasting peace. That's my dog drinking water. Baby. Usually she's right here next to me, but she's not. I unconditionally surrender. The cat's by next to me, though. I unconditionally surrender. You gonna come join me? Yeah. Don't, don't climb through everything, please. Come on. Come on. She's kind of photogenic. She's like, hello. <laughs> yeah. So I unconditionally surrender. She's so cute in the background, my goodness. I unconditionally surrender to the graceful, divine, and blissful experience to creator love. This is the last time I'm reading it, and I'm going to pull the cards. I unconditionally surrender 
to the graceful, divine, blissful experience, the creator love and intelligence of all universes has ordained and established for me. I surrender to the prosperous, abundant blessings being accessed and manifested before me instantaneously in all time, space, and beyond. This is what happens. I get all smiley when I work on music all day. I want to talk more about that, but I feel like I ramble too much. I don't want to ramble because I want this to be about God. But I, but I should share a little bit of my life because I feel like this, you know, my life is part of God's plan. So I matter, you matter, we all matter. So I'll just share a little bit while I'm shuffling these cards. So I'm working on my new album. Well, I'm not working on it. Any okay, well, I'm just doing the final vocal takes on it. The most perfect final vocal takes. I'm tuning my voice. Not digitally. I'm tuning it like... Like, I'm doing exercises and everything. Because I want the final vocal takes and the backup screens and everything to be pristine and perfect. And... I should be sending them. You know, one by one. <gasps> well then... Okay, well then maybe I need to redo it. Oh my god. So before I draw the cards, I just found out I'm muted on on YouTube right now. That's that's such a shame. I'm like shocked. I'm so shocked. Well, we are not gonna give up. Oh, somebody came, yay. We are not gonna give up. But I will fix this right now, so if somebody does come to, um... Hello, hello, hello. Oh, so it hurts so bad, so bad. I'm troubleshooting on my computer. Anyways, I'm gonna pull the cards right now. I'm gonna 
shuffle the cards. And we will pull the cards for the day. So not every video can be perfect, I guess. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, well, I'm just gonna end it on YouTube and then I will just re upload. And I'll figure out what's going on with that later. So, oh, okay, no, there were cards pulled. Okay, I'm just gonna. It's just. You can't control things that happen in life all the time. And I gotta remind myself that God's plan for me is everlasting love and everlasting peace. So the cards today is Matthew 28, 20, Matthew 7, 1, and Mark 12, 30. The first card is, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. So I'm going to turn this into a prayer right now. You are with us always, even unto the end of the world. You are with us always, even unto the end of the world. Lord God, you are with us always, even unto the end of the world. Lord God, you are with us always, even unto the end of the world. Does it matter where we go, what dark realms we enter? what we change into or what we've done what happens you know our lord god the original one the supreme divine the infinite love of the universe the source of all our spirits the ability to create the ability to think the ability to connect that is god our hearts remember god is our heart our heart is with us even unto the end of the world. Well, I know it's really, really hard right now to love God with the way the world is. And it's really, really hard to remember God. But that's okay because he's with us, you know? It's with us no matter what. It's inside us. It's all around us. And we just have to remind ourselves that. We don't have to remind ourselves that, whether we are reminded or not. It is with us. Even if we don't believe in it. This source of unimaginable love, of infinite possibility, is always with us. That may make some people feel uncomfortable. But those are the people who really need to hear this the most. Because a lot of people have just given up. They think that God is some angry old dude in the clouds punishing everyone. And that's not entirely true. See, God is living through us. That's how in the Bible God knew everything about everyone and was able to bring things up. That made a lot of the prophets and people who were doing, you know, not so good things uncomfortable. It's because our heart is God. We are one with the one. And Jesus had said that him and the Father were one. That applied to us too because he was man. 
he was made flesh. And so therefore God is one with us at all times, always with us, no matter what. So that was Matthew twenty-eight twenty. That was the first card. The second card is judge not that you be not judged. This has to do with how he was saying, don't go trying to remove a splinter out of people's eyes when you have a splinter within your own. You know, all we can do is love. How we show up in life defines who we are. We can either show up in love or show up in righteousness. And righteousness is a double-edged sword. If you're expecting to cut someone down, expect to be cut down yourself also. And that's a beautiful advice. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, God, for that. Because even I felt like I was judging a little bit before I went to bed. Before I was, you know, going to go to sleep right now. I was judging myself. I was like, I'm not worthy to do this. Like, I should not be doing this. Like, I even felt the negative energy of people who don't want me to do this. But I'm going to do it. Because I'm not going to fit the stereotype, okay? Just because I dress and look like this and I make the music that I make does not mean that I hate God or that I shouldn't believe in God or believe in the infinite love of the universe that sustains all creation and gave me the ability to create music and sing. Just because I look like this does not mean I should not be doing this. He even said, this card here, you know, God is with us at all times, even until the end of the world. So whether I look like this or not, or make the music that I make or not, it doesn't change the fact that, you know, the Supreme Divine, the Eternal Mother God, Father God, is always present within me, always present within you, always, you know, witnessing everything. So it doesn't matter what you look like, or what you've been through, or what has happened to you. Because it says right here, Matthew twenty eight twenty. Good morning, Rosa J. Because it says right here, Matthew twenty eight twenty. I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. And then the next card was Matthew seven one. Judge not, that you be not judged. God does not judge nobody. God is not judging nobody. God is not punishing nobody. God is just love. God is art. God is expression. God is our heart. God is not our minds. We're not our minds. We are the heart of God. The heart of God is us. And then the last card is 1230, Mark 1230. And it says, Thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Now I wonder why Jesus said with all your heart first. To love God with all your heart. That's because God is our heart. And to love ourselves, we can love God. Or to love God, we learn to love ourselves. So either way, you know, it goes both ways. We can either reach God through loving ourselves. Or we can reach ourselves through loving God. And through that, we have a better mind. We, we start to feel more of our soul, more of our wholeness. So I love that this message came through from Jesus today. Because like I said, before I hopped on here, I was judging myself. I was like, I'm not worthy of doing this. People probably think I'm a joke. We gotta 
a goth boy here who is using this, you know, to, I'm using this to heal myself. I do this for myself, but I also do this with love for other people because we've all gone through things. We've all had things happen to us that we identify with those things, but none of that matters in the eyes of God. And none of that mattered in the eyes of Jesus. Jesus dined with pagans, dined with people of different religions, dined with prostitutes, junkies. You know, he loved everyone equally. He gave everyone a chance. And that right there is God. That's God right there. That's how God treats us. And what more of a reason not to love God, who is our heart, the heart of all creation. So I love you guys. Don't be afraid of God. God does not judge. God does not punish. God is always with us, even when it's the end of the world. It doesn't matter what you look like. Or what kind of art you like. Or how you do your makeup. Or how you, you know. None of that matters in the eyes of God. Because when God looks at us. He sees his love. He sees his heart. And so maybe we should start looking at God. Like he's our heart. Because it's the same thing. You know the spark within us all. That's God. That's love. That's the universe. I love you guys. Have an amazing day if you can. And if it doesn't feel amazing, just remember these cards right here. And don't judge your experience. Because God's with us until the very, very end. And even in the end, he is with us. And if we can, if we can, you know, either start to love ourselves and we start to learn to love God because we're one and the same. Just, we gotta not be afraid. Why are we afraid of the being that gave us, you know, an identity? It gave us an identity even gives the animals an identity like everyone gets an identity they get to make their own choices they get to make their own creation they get to have their own experience like he could have been he could have made us without those things but he didn't because we're one and the same we're all one and the same. And that's what brings us together. And I feel like this video kind of sucked, but it's how we show up that makes us who we are. <laughs>